it's alive. I didn't think it would work. <laughs> I'm actually crying. <sighs>with the clobble dobble. Ah! The do clobble dobble fell off! It was very frightening. That's pretty cool. Maybe I'll restart the stream it. No, you know what? You're here for the long haul. Do it live. Do it live. We'll do it live. I'll put... Okay, that's connected into the Spiegelly Spoops. So you guys are now in this Spiegelly Spoops, and the Spiegelly Spoops goes on the tripod. And then, in theory, we'll be like, it's on the tripod, and then we'll press the button, it will go... And that's how it should look, so we'll find out now. I bought these things, I believe they're called compliments. <laughs> Those things. Let's start building this bad girl. I like how you've already got many congratulations. <laughs> this is both your most watched and most commented on live video. Well, that would not be difficult. This is Captain Cabinet, or one day will be. This is the front of Captain Cabinet. Ah. I bought... Oh, have you broken it? No. Oh, good. It's going to be filled with flashing lights and fun things. It's going to look like it belongs on the Enterprise, or even better, the background of Stargate. There's one of those random computers in sci-fi movies that just blink a million times a second. It's going to be a fun build. I haven't done this for 15 years. Everything's changed a bit. You'll like this. This is how, qu how quickly VR became the main thing. This is being built for VR, by the way. The HTC Vive is arriving tomorrow. Look. Perfect, normal processor, standard processor, even that says, for a great VR experience. <laughs> they sell this to accountancy firms, I'm sure they're using it for loads of VR. Isn't that twice? You have no idea how long I've spent tidying my room. <laughs> VR room scale takes so much space. All of this was just boxes and misery, but 12 hours ago. I'm incredibly so proud of it. So this is, this is the best you get. Did I mention this is cooking with ADD? Right, okay. How should we start? I guess we should try putting the motherboard in. Well, everything plugs into that, so... Ow! Motherboards can be sharp, especially on the bottom. Bear this in mind, for those of you following the recipe at home. Oh. So this is the MSI Gaming Pro Carbon Z270 version. It was the uh, motherboard that had the largest number of, of flashing LEDs that were individually uh, programmable. So this can be going wish wish and this can be going wob wob. It's very important, very important that it looks really stupid when it's on. You also so, said start with the CPU. That would be sensible, wouldn't it? We should probably mount the CPU first. In fact, perhaps even more sensible would be plug plugging it all up extrinsically and making sure it all fucking powers on before spending time with a million nodules. Mm -hmm. All right. But that means we lose this nice. He bomb. he'll be back, everybody or she. See. I always thought of Captain Cabinet as a male bill because the center was an i7-6700K. That's a, a good manly name for a chip, a chip and a chipset. But now the i7-7700K has come out. That's three sevens. That's a very feminine name. So now I think Captain Cabinet might be a woman. Gender fluidity. So first of all, if we're going to power them, we're going to need a power supply. This is the Corsair RM5550X, possibly the only component we've purchased that does not have <laughs> blinking lights on it. Looks suspiciously like someone had already had at it. So we've got a Corsair case and a Corsair uh, PSU. And in fact, the memory, yes, even the RAM is covered in glowing LEDs. Uh, they're all Corsair, not through brand loyalty. They just, it turns out, make good shit. Oh, it is on this. Okay, I would not have guessed that. I'm glad you did. <laughs> Could you find a Molex or something in there on with which to try this? Again, it's been so long, it's been about 15 years since I last built that I do not remember most of these connections, and the ones I do seem to have changed. No IDE cables, for example. So let's figure out how to power a modern 
Motherboard. This is more embarrassing than I expected it to be. Maybe, You're maybe I'll go to... read a book. Yes, it doesn't have an end all around it, should It does indeed. Well, maybe I think you'll just stand it, so we'll do you down here. That's fine. Good. I mean... That's a USB header. Those are for the pump fans and system fans. So that's probably it, just for primary power. Good. Thank you. All right. The moment of truth or otherwise. You want to step back in case it explodes on you. Three, two, one. Nothing happened, which could be a good sign or a bad one. That's the nature of science, of course. <laughs> okay, what I've done is I've plugged the cable in better. Three, two, really? one. All right, now again, I notice nothing whatsoever happening there. LEDs popping up. There should be a, a readout. We do not have a readout. Annoying. Well, it was worth a try. I'm going to be fiddling with this for ages. We'll restart the stream at a more fun point, I think. Thanks for sticking around, everyone, for this brief sojourn. And Jesus wept, for there were no more worlds to conquer. So now that Captain Cabinet is nearing completion, Eleanor and I are starting on the next phase. Q-Beast! The one downside of building with a state-of-the-art AMD chip is they don't have graphics on board, so they make you spend twice your rent on a graphics card, don't they? <laughs> this is Alex looking cool. <laughs> The huge effing cooler it was too big, it doesn't go on modern thing, so ordered a new thing, be here two hours, glows. Make sure you also have a fidget cube with you for when your build goes awry and you're going to have a nervy bee. beginning the day as we mean to end it, creating more problems for ourselves. Yeah. So we're going to swap these over into a pull configuration, pulling cold air over the new graphics card when it arrives. That can stay in pull too, bringing cold air down. The new card is triphasic, so if they've got three rads here sucking up, cold air coming from here, hopefully it'll exhaust here okay on its own. So we've successfully prepped Captain Cabinet for an update. Now we're going to go and do the same for Q-Beast.
So currently the CPU is cooling internally. We're going to replace that with a liquid cooler so the heat leaves and that will make it the internal temperature cool enough for the overpowered graphics card. Old cooler off. We're rebracketed. Now removing the old thermal paste. If either of us touch it, human oil will ruin it. Same thing. Isopropyl alcohol to make sure nothing human gets on it. Humans are the anti-computer. Rub-a-dub-dub, 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 rise and chip in the tub. First problem of the day, which this is always about, we don't have clearance for the radiator with the RAM. It's too big and beautiful. So we're going to see if we can do it vice versa. So, new plan. It fits, but will only fit with a single radiator with the RAM in place. There's no clearance for the radiator. We're removing the GPU, and we're going to fit the radiator on the bottom in an intake mode. Get out of the way. Look at this. These are never coming out again. No, look at this filthy hack. So <laughs> we're now doing this. We're fitting through the grating. The long round of isopropyl, because I accidentally blew on it to get dust away without thinking. Filling it with my disgusting DNA. Contaminating the beast. Unbelievable. I think we're... And because everything is hacking and you always find more problems than you solve with any build, we're now doing the thermal paste. Delicious. It goes down here. See, everything's going fine in that this is only taking three times as long as we expected, which is good for a build. What am I doing? Boom. Ta-da! Excellent. See? Now it won't explode. And now we just have like these nice little... Nearly made a mistake, but these are now being fed by data from the CPU cooler, not from the motherboard. These connect. So, liquid now comes, cooling the CPU, fresh air up from the bottom through the radiator, cooling the GPU as well, which will sit here.